So coming together today and tomorrow is looking at how do we put this together to design and put together this against this wicked problem. And this wicked problem of when we talk about jobs, but they're not really jobs. When we talk about employment, but they're not really employment. We've got young fellas sitting with tickets but no jobs, so they don't bother. We've got young leaders coming out of um, the leaders programs and year 12 and, you know, it's really good career pathways, but they come to community and there's nothing there for transition them into jobs. Expulsions from our kids from school, you know, finishing up in grade eight, you know. I've had them 20 years ago asking me for a job. They were only 14. I couldn't give it to them. The legal age, I think, was 16. So, you know, things like that. And they've been vegetating ever since. I see an old mate there write that word up there before unity. We haven't even got that in our own backyard, you know. And the answers are all there, but it's all tied up in that weird unity. The biggest issues we have in Arakun is um, blue card. We've been trying to get our people to get blue card and we've been struggling with that. And Pop up shops. So if you go up to Weeper on a Friday night, you can go to one of those little pop up shops on the side of the road, get a kebab. A uh, clothes shop where, you know, Bomber can go into a local shop where it's affordable. I suppose working together as a, in order for per, a person to advance, you know. CDP. I want to talk about CDP. We have to look after our community. We have to look after our children. They're our, our future and our country. We are the TOs. We are, um, you know, we are the First Nation people. But we also have to work together um, and change this model. It's not the government model. It's not what they want. It's what the community wants. Mm -hmm.